Um, yeah, I want to uh, describe another uh, important topic from uh, the book, uh, Metadimensional, out on Kindle. So, uh, you, the common uh, understanding of how, like how, how to evaluate, like what it is that you do, why you do things, that is uh, to look at evolutionary uh, explanations and uh, physiological explanation, biological explanation. Say you are hungry and therefore you want to eat, and uh, you were born like you had the the genes you evolved to want to do this or that, and you ought know, to be good, and this is why you do it. Um, all these explanations are they I'm not saying they're not true, like, I'm not, I'm, of, of course sometimes they are true when they're true they're true but they also there's a, a hidden assumption there which is uh to which to understand this assumption you need to understand this topic that i call experiential dominance now i said that ex uh, like science would tell you that uh, experience does nothing that it's just uh observing uh, what is determined by uh, the body, by bodily dynamics, physical dynamics, all that stuff. That's what they, they tell you. And I said in a different video that um, um, that if there is something like free will, it won't function through the reality that the body uh, produces, the reality that looks like wakeful physical reality, it, it won't operate through that medium. It would operate from outside it. So, when you uh, when you analyze behavior based just on on these types of uh, uh, considerations, then you're basically assuming that experience does nothing. And sometimes it does nothing, but not always. <laughs> so once you posit that experience does things, and when it does things, then it mutates, uh, it, it necessarily mutates uh, reality from outside the laws of nature, or basically not so much outside it, but just mobilizes you from one reality to another, uh, one reality to another that is incoherent with the previous one. I mean, like, not just like moving a long time along with the laws of nature. Then you have something, then what starts to go up is your experiential dominance. That's when your, the fact that you have, there is some, something that's like to be you starts to matter to the way that uh, the shared common reality of everybody uh, changes. So, um, so this is the, the idea of experiential dominance. And it's right now, so all, your ex, all the explanations that you have been uh, taught about or probably know about, they assume experiential dominance of zero. Uh, everything is determined by the laws of nature. That every, everything, evaluating everything by the things that you see in, in the reality, the physical, what you call real or physical, wakeful. That's what you assume, and that, that's experiential dominance of zero. Uh, and for that, you don't need to have an experience, basically. For that, like a rock, a piece of rock would do exactly the same as you do. It just would, would, would just follow the laws of nature. Uh, of course, I'm simplifying it because what is a rock if everything is just a concoction that the body creates? But anyway, but, I'm, but you get what I'm saying. Like, if you were a robot behaving like uh, according to program, there would be nothing different from you. If you were a table 
obeying the, the programming that is the laws of nature. There will be nothing different from you when everything that determines your behavior are, are those. But I'm saying that there are other things. Like there, there are, there is experiential domin dominance. It's not always zero. And, but, uh, when you make the, the assumption that ex that reality behaves or that your behavior adheres to uh, reality where experiential dominance is zero, you start. Uh, a different process, which is a process of, of, um, of, I don't know how to say it. You st you make experiential agents, experiential agents like you, like me, meta dimensionals, as I described them in a different place, in a different uh, video, unhappy with this reality. And uh, so on paper, you could see people have everything they could ever want because you're considering only the, the, the incentives as they uh, make themselves manifest in the wakeful reality. But because all the involvement of, of experiential affairs escapes that, that description of reality, then you can easily forget about or not leave room for the for what ex experience would want and then even though everything look would look perfect otherwise like on paper everything should look per perfect your society would crumble and i think that's what we're looking at this is um I will probably expand on this more, but this is, I think, what we're looking at when we're looking at uh, when we're seeing the social unrest we're seeing today. Just when everything seems perfect in terms of technology and medicine and democracy, and it's because we 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 com we assume a reality where experiential dominance would be zero, but it's not zero, and it wants and it's trying to get away from it. Trying to get away from this um, uh, adherence to just satisfying the wakeful bodily um, ideals.